probably should have picked a cleaner shirt to put on. Um, I currently have no idea why my top is so dirty. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing very, very well. Um, it is currently trying to rain right here in the UK. However, it is still very, very hot. Um, it just basically feels really muggy. Um, but nonetheless, um, I've opened every single window to try and keep it a little bit cool. Um, and as you guys can tell, I am filming yet again in my spare bedroom, also known as the clothing room. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have added a little light to my desk. Um, I just wanted a little light in here um, for like early in the mornings when I'm getting ready and I don't want the big light on because there is nothing that I cannot stand more than having a big light on um, whilst I'm getting ready. Um, there's just something about big lights that I really don't like. Um, but yes, this actually used to be in my bedroom um, on my bedside table but I didn't quite use it as often as sort of like what I wanted to. Um, so I decided to move it in here because yesterday was cleaning day for me. Um, but yeah, so obviously I will link the light in the description box down below for you guys. It is from Amazon um, and they also do loads of other different um, lights that are similar to this one as well. So on that note, um, I'm just gonna tell you guys what the video is about rather than me going on about a light, which you guys probably don't really care about. So for today's video, I thought that I would sit down and film a Primark haul for you guys. And I have also got something from TK Maxx as well to show you guys. Um, so from TK Maxx, there was just one thing that I picked up in there uh, because as you guys will know, I'm on a bit of a budget um, because of the wedding, which is in two weeks time. I cannot believe how quickly that has come around. Um, it only felt like yesterday that we were sat here saying, oh my God, it's like six months away. It's like eight months away. And now it is literally right around the corner. But nonetheless, I thought obviously I would, I had to nip into Primark um, the other day for just a few little bits and bobs that I needed. So I needed some more moisturizer, um, obviously needed some more earrings because you can never have enough. And I had also seen a few bits in there um, for my Hindu, which I obviously just wanted to pick up for myself and just to have a little browse around because to be honest, I actually haven't had like a browse around in Primark for a very long time. It's kind of become one of the places where I don't know, like I'd much rather go there in a weekday rather than I would on a weekend because I find that the weekends are just hectic in Primark um, and I really cannot stand it when it is so busy in there and you can't move. You feel like you can't like look around properly and you just can't function. Um, so yeah, that is what today's video is going to be about. Um, also, I am quite impressed with myself. So. I, as you guys will probably know from like my previous videos, I have obviously anxiety and the smallest of things will like completely freak me out and doing things by myself I don't enjoy. Um, like I always like to be out with somebody or like if I go somewhere, I will either ring somebody and be <laughs> talking on the phone with them or obviously somebody will come with me. Um, so today I had to nip out to obviously just go sign and sort some paperwork out um so obviously i've walked there um and then i just needed to nip into sainsbury's just to get a few bits and bobs for tea um which obviously we didn't have in the house so obviously that's what i needed to do and there was a starbucks next um to sainsbury's so i thought um you know i was at this point i was sweating and i really needed a drink and i just fancied a coffee i also hadn't had any breakfast at this point so i thought you know what i'm gonna pop into starbucks and i'm gonna sit in and obviously have a coffee and something to eat. So I went in, made my order and I went and sat down. And that is the first time in like my whole 23 years of being on this earth that I have ever gone and sat down in a restaurant, well, not a restaurant, but like a cafe type on my own. Um, and surprisingly, it wasn't as bad that I 
as, as uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, so that's quite a proud moment for me today. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much that. I just wanted to share that with you guys because obviously it's a proud moment. So yeah, nonetheless, um, I'm gonna just get started with this video because otherwise I would possibly quite easily sit here and just keep rambling on to you guys. And I know you guys don't really care. You just want to see what I've brought from Primark. So yeah, on that note, I'm just going to get into it and show you guys what I got from Primark and TK Maxx. Okay, so as always, I will link everything down below in the description box for you guys. So obviously if you guys want to head over to the Primark's website or TK Maxx website and you are obviously looking for something similar to what I have purchased then obviously you will know where to obviously look and sort of what to be looking for if that makes any sense. So obviously I will link everything down below in the description box and I will also link the Primark and TK Maxx website down below for you guys as well. Um, so obviously if you click on the link it should just automatically take you to their website directly. Um, but yeah, so nonetheless, I'm just going to get straight into it and show you guys what I got from Primark first. So the first thing that I picked up from Primark, um, I have seen this all over my For You page on TikTok. This product is literally everywhere at the moment. And I, the other week, I actually ran out of my moisturiser. As you guys know that I use the Embryolisse moisturiser on a daily basis. I have done for quite a few months now, um, again, inspired by TikTok. Um, and when I went in, I actually saw these in there and um, I've never tried it before. And obviously I wanted to give it a try because it was the first time that I'd been in Primark in so long and they ha actually had it stocked up. So this is the Prep and Perfect. So this is the Vitamin Enriched Moisturising Primer. So this is... Um, just the packaging for this um and as you can see this was four pounds fifty um and it comes in quite a big um tub so you do actually get quite a lot for your money um don't even know if this is focusing apologies if it's not but yeah you do actually get quite a bit in the um tub for your money so for £4.50 I didn't think that that was too bad at all um, and to be honest I actually really like the texture of this um, now what I will say is if you have like oily skin I don't think that you might like this as much uh, purely just because like for me for example like my t-zone usually gets the most oiliest on my face as well as like these parts here um, and throughout the day especially if it's been warm I can definitely like say that this does kind of make your face a little bit greasy only if you like sweating or like your body temperature is really warm and you also have oily skin now you guys will know that I have a bit of combined skin um, but nonetheless I think it's a lovely moisturizer well it's not even well, yeah, it is a moisturiser, but it's a primer as well. So that's probably where I'm going wrong because most people will use this as a base for their makeup. But obviously I'm just using it as everyday moisturiser. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, it's worth it. And yeah, I really like that product. So that's a plus. Next thing that I got from Primark. Now, I am absolutely obsessed with bubbles, scrunchies, anything like that. I have a full case full of like different types of bubbles, different types of scrunchies um, and I'm just obsessed with them and I don't know what it is about them but I just love them. Um, so I actually picked up some more scrunchies from Primark so I just got these ones which I thought were very cute and were definitely giving like holiday vibes. Um, so there's obviously just a red one, this like really gorgeous patterned one, and then just a standard like baby blue one. And these were £2.50. Uh, at the minute, Primark definitely have some gorgeous um, scrunchies, bobbles, all that kind of stuff in at the moment. And they are really killing it with obviously hair accessories. Um, so when I saw these, I obviously just had to pick these up because I thought that they were so nice. Um, and I just love the colours and the combination of them. Um, so for £2.50, you really can't go wrong. Obviously, there's three in a pack. And yeah, I just thought that they were gorgeous. So obviously, I had to purchase them. Next thing um, from Primark. So this has definitely got to be 
one of my favorite things I have ever picked up from Primark. So today is Tuesday. Um, I don't even know what the date is. Tuesday the 27th of June. So Saturday, um, this coming Saturday, I'm obviously going on my hen do. Um, now, obviously you guys will know that I am absolutely obsessed with Disney. I love anything Disney. Um, it is just my absolute favorite. And I went into Primark a couple of weeks ago um, with obviously my sister-in-law. And we actually spotted like a whole section of like wedding Disney. Um, so obviously we're going on a hen do on Saturday. And obviously my bridesmaid, she's just got like a headband that says bridesmaid on, you know, I'm pretty sure most of you guys will know what I'm talking about. And I didn't know whether to get one that said bride on or not, or if to just stick a hair clip in my hair or, or what, I didn't know what to do. So anyway, we came across these and let me tell you, I had to buy it because it's just a bit of me all over and I know that I'm probably going to end up taking out out of my hair anyway, but I just absolutely loved it and fell in love with it. So it is a Minnie Mouse like sparkle headband with a veil and a little like tiara on. Um, so this is what it looks like. And you know something, I actually thought that this was really cute. Um, so as you can see, obviously it's just got a veil. It's just Minnie Mouse's ears. They're very sparkly. Um, and obviously they've got a little like tiara. And yeah, I just thought that they were so cute. And um, they also do have different ones that you can get without the veil as well, um, which I thought were just beautiful. Um, so obviously I had to buy this because how could I not buy it? Um, and this was £5.50, which um, yeah, is a little bit pricey, but for just a standard bride like headband anyway, you'd probably be looking at the same price. So I just thought, you know, why not? Because that is a bit of me all over and yeah, definitely vibing with that one. So obviously I had to get that one. Um, next thing from Primark that I picked up. So I don't know if you guys can remember when I went through my charity shop haul video with you guys and I mentioned that I did buy sort of like a white long dress and I was on about like styling it with a tan belt. Now I didn't, I don't actually have a tan belt. Um, I have like black belts, but no tan belts. I used to have a tan belt, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, I think when I was moving, I think it might have got lost somewhere in like the charity shop bin bag or something along those lines so and I just never went out and brought another one I don't know why um but yeah so I just picked up a um standard like tan belt um from Primark um now with belts from Primark I tend to size up on my belts because often enough um they either feel like they're squashing me and they're very uncomfortable or they end up breaking because I always buy them too small. Um, so I obviously like to go for a bit of a bigger size belt. So I've obviously just got mine in a large. Um, and this belt was um, four pounds. It does say um, four dollars on it. But nonetheless, um, it's just a standard belt. Um, so this is definitely gonna come in handy when styling a few of my outfits. Then we have, um, I just picked up some full snails from Primark as well. So as you guys will know, these are obviously just what they look like. Um, so they've got these really cute patterns on and these were three pounds. So as you guys will know, obviously I stopped um, doing my own nails quite a while ago. Typically just because obviously of the job that I'm in, they kept breaking off all the time and they caused me a lot of pain with my actual nails themselves and they made my nails really bad. Um, I have never seen my nails in a worse condition than that. Um, and that was obviously because they were snapping off because of obviously me moving like heavy objects and things like that. My nails would get caught and uh, yeah, it was just horrendous. So obviously there was no point in me going to have my nails done for the Hindu purely just because the week after 
I'll be getting my nails done for the wedding. So there was no point in sort of having my nails done a week apart, if that makes any sense. And obviously the nails that I would probably want for my Hindu are completely different to obviously what I want for the actual wedding. So I obviously just picked up these. So these are the Square Leto Gloss and these are 24 nails and they also come with glue. Um, so yeah, very happy with those and I just thought that they were really cute. Um, so had to buy those because I absolutely love the fact that they've got little stars on them. And I also love like the swirly little pattern that is on them as well. So they were another great purchase. So the next thing that I picked up from Primark, um, I actually wanted some more earrings because as you guys will know, I ordered that um, little Amazon um, glass, well it's not glass, but earring organizer case. And obviously I sorted through all of my earrings when I actually brought that because there were so many earrings in there that had you know, when your earrings like start to tarnish a little bit and they just looked a bit disgusting so I was like yeah I need some more earrings so obviously I, I brought some when I brought the case itself and then obviously I've just slowly brought some earrings um along the, alongside that as well um so I obviously just wanted to see if Primark had any more like really cute earrings um some that were a little bit different and I came across these now there is like two sets missing purely because I've got one set in and the other set is in the box I believe I'm hoping so um but yeah these are obviously just what the earrings look like so as you can see there is like we've got like the little pearls and then we have some flowers some cute little bows we also have some moons on there um yeah so i just thought that these were really really cute and for £2.50 you really cannot go wrong um primark have a lovely selection of earrings um however i would say obviously they unless like you clean them quite regularly which sometimes i know can be hard to keep on top of um, don't get me wrong, I don't always keep on top of cleaning my earrings, but that's just the way that we go. Um, but yeah, so it's always nice, obviously, to be able to buy new earrings as well. Um, sometimes some earrings from Primark will last a lot longer than others. Um, and I, I don't think I've actually ever brought any gold, like rose gold ones from Primark before. So I'm hoping that these are going to last and that they are obviously still gonna look the same in a couple months time which i'm really hoping that they will so for two pound fifty you really can't go wrong so i was very happy with those then um again from primark i just picked up a standard vest top um so it's just a standard vest top um as you guys can see um so this was £2.50. Um, now with Primark sizing, um, for me especially, because obviously as you guys know and I explained in a previous video, obviously with me having polycystic ovaries, sometimes when I eat my stomach will swell really badly and it's just not a vibe. So sometimes certain clo like clothes from Primark don't fit me and then other clothes will fit me like perfectly fine and, and then obviously with me having, you know, quite big boobs um it's always important that I like kind of size up a little bit especially with like vest tops and things like that just to stop them from peeking out the sides and things like that I'm sure most of you guys will be able to relate um so yeah obviously I've just opted for a, a large which is kind of like my standard size anyway because I'd rather have my clothes a little bit bigger than be skin tight because I don't really like skin tight clothes um so yeah that is that um so i thought that was a bargain for two pound fifty i did also buy another vest top um uh, but that is currently in the wash so i can't show you that but i will um see if i can find it on the website and link a photo in here for you guys um so it's basically just like a ribbed one um and it's one of the ones that kind of come up like to here rather than being like a low cut vest um, and that was four pounds as well i got it in like a really nice light blue color um, so that was a bonus then finally from primark we have some slides so i have seen so many people say that they have brought their slides from primark um, and different things like that um, 
and obviously when I went in, as you guys will know that I had the Jimmy Choo sliders, um, which were very uncomfortable and I don't know, I just wanted some sliders that I could just kind of lounge around in um, for when I'm at home and things like that. And I obviously saw these and these were six pounds um, in Primark, which I thought was really good. Um, and now I have worn these a few times and honestly, I've got to say these are the most comfiest things I think I have ever owned. So they don't feel like they're suffocating my feet. They are very comfy and they almost feel like I've got slippers on and just the feel of them feels really really nice They're like a cushiony type um so obviously i just got these in like a sandy beige color um and these look huge on camera wow um <laughs> but yeah so obviously these are very very comfy i absolutely love the feel of them um and honestly they're just the best so obviously if you guys are in need of any sliders then head over to a Primark and obviously get yourself a pair of these. Um, they have them in a lot of different colours. So there's like pink, there's blue, there's black, there's green. Um, I'm pretty sure there was purple, like a, a nice like lilac -y colour. Um, they also have these ones. And also Primark have got a lot of like um, sandals in there. They have also got like knockoff Crocs in there as well, which were very funky. Um, but yeah, so obviously a bargain, um, six pounds and yeah, don't regret buying these one bit. I absolutely love these. So that's a winner for everybody. Then moving on to TK Maxx. So obviously that is everything that I got from Primark. So moving on to TK Maxx. Now, whenever I go into TK Maxx, I could spend an absolute fortune in that shop. Like there's just so many great things in there from like skincare to bath care to hair care even like the clothes and the watches and the jewelry it's just incredible in there i absolutely love going in there but i don't know <laughs> like it seems to be that whenever you go in there with no money they have everything in there that you've been like searching for for months and months so obviously initially i just wanted to because what I was going to do was obviously, I haven't really got like a small little bag. Um, most of my bags are either like shoulder bags or like the big bags. And I'm just kind of fed up of carrying like big bags around. Um, especially like when I'm going out somewhere, I just want a small bag that I can just fit my purse in. And that's that. Um, so obviously I did look in Primark, but they didn't have any that I kind of fell in love with or that were my cup of tea really so originally we went into tk maxx first and then went into primark and i had actually seen this bag in tk maxx first and i fell in love with it the minute that i saw it um however i didn't buy it straight away because i thought i'll go look in primark first to see obviously if i can find a bag and obviously had no luck so i was like right i need to go back into tk maxx and buy that bag so from a TK Maxx, um, I absolutely fell in love with this and they have this in two different colours so they have it in like a, a nudie colour and then obviously a black colour which is the colour that I got. So this is um, a gorgeous little bag um, by Steve Madden and uh, there's just no words to describe this bag. It is really cute. So obviously it opens up here um, with like a little button. It's got a cute little handle on it, which I think is adorable. And then obviously it just has like a um, back space, um, which is gorgeous. So this is a perfect size for me. Um, so obviously this is really gonna come in handy on Saturday, obviously when I go out for bottomless brunch for my hen do, um, because let's face it you don't really want to be carrying a big bag around with you and i will only have like my keys um like my id in there and then obviously my phone can fit in there as well so that'll just be perfect it also does come with like a little um pouch attached to it as well so this is kind of like a little mini purse i think um yep so that will come in handy for something um so that is brill um 
and it also comes with a additional strap as well so if obviously you didn't want the big chunky strap attached to it you could then obviously just attach the little like strappy one which i thought was gorgeous so this bag was 39 pound and 99 pence um and for something like this i just thought that it was really cute and i thought that it was a great price um now obviously i know that not everybody would be able to spend that type of money on a handbag but obviously if you go into places like primark and things like that they will do similar things like this or river island um or even places like tesco and sainsbury's will do like miniature bags like this obviously not with this branding but similar um and yeah i just thought that it was really really cute um and i'm very very happy with that um purchase so yeah that is what i got from tk maxx um and that is the only thing that i picked up from tk maxx which um was a struggle for me because i saw so many great like things in there that i wish obviously that i could have picked up but obviously i'm on a budget um so obviously i didn't i just got the bag um so yeah that is pretty much everything that i picked up from primark and tk maxx okay so yeah as i said that is everything that i got from tk maxx and also primark so i hope that obviously yet again you guys enjoyed this video um sorry that i can ramble on for so much um and talk about so much um but yeah obviously i hope that you guys enjoyed this video obviously everything will be linked down below in the description box for you guys obviously if you want to get your hands on the same things that i've kind of picked up um or similar or if you're looking for a similar item and um, then obviously i will link everything down below for you guys and i will also link um prices as well um for, for you guys so you obviously you can see um how much i paid for things um obviously i think pretty much everything i have gone through i've uh, mention the price in um so yeah i will obviously link everything down below and again thank you so much for all of the support on my previous videos um i hope that you guys obviously still enjoy my channel obviously if you want me to do any different videos then obviously please leave me a comment down below in the comment section um or if you guys want me to do a bit of a q a then obviously please just let me know and obviously drop all of your comments down below in the comment section um or you can also follow like my social media um so my instagram or my tiktok um or you can tweet me um but yeah obviously as always i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to obviously like and subscribe um obviously when you guys subscribe it will give you notifications every time that i upload a video so that you guys can sort of keep up to date with my channel and it would also mean the world for you guys well for me if you guys were subscribed to my channel um and yeah so as always i hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you have a lovely, lovely week, whatever you guys are doing, whether you are spending it with friends, spending it with family, if you are working or if you have a couple of days off of work. I hope that you guys just have a lovely, lovely week. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.